a lot of people ask, you know, what, what can Spanish goats do for me? What, you know, why Spanish goats? And this is why. They get in here, they get poked. They're not scared to get a thorn in their side or something. And, and they get after these leaves and they make undesirable pastures that cannot be utilized by other livestock. And they utilize it. They turn it into pounds. And they look good while doing it. And you've got five acres of, of briar vines here that is just taking up land. But the goats came in here, they utilized it, they made it into pounds, and they cleared it back in the process. So the goats were in this pasture, I don't know, maybe June, July time frame. Uh, so it's been a few months since we got this fence taken down. Like I said, we just got four more to go. But I wanted to highlight real quick uh, this tree here. You can tell the fence line was right here. It went right down this way, went up there, and then it's right there. So all this, this pasture is, I don't remember how big it is, but you can see what the goats can do and how high they can really get. And uh, they'll even grab the branch and bring it down and, and eat off of it. But uh, this tree looks like it died at one point. You can see it broke off the top and then looks like it came back to life. Uh, so they're keeping it trimmed up keeping that underbrush from growing back and I mean the, the leaves will grow back next year and then the following year but maybe you know two three years from now those under all these underbrush branches will will die off and then the tree will blossom up and then you'll get some nice tree trimmed looking trees if you need some tree trims trimmings or you needed your tree trimmed or you need some brush control these Spanish goats are the way to go We'll take a, a deeper look into this pasture as we drive off on around. Like I said, I only got four more to go. Well, since our last video, we've probably had about, I don't know, two, two and a half inches of rain in the last, I don't know, two weeks, week and a half. Uh, stuff's really starting to come up. Like I said in the last video, if we could we could get a little bit of rain within the next two weeks, we might get some root growth before uh, fall hits. And it looks like some of this is coming back up. Um, over here in the hay field we've got some turkey enjoying whatever's coming up i don't know if you guys can see that but they i think they see me or they hear me one of the two because uh, they're running i'll see if i can zoom in but uh some of that sudan's coming back up uh, but it's not going to get uh anywhere near length it needs to probably get ripped up and wheat will get put in the ground but the turkey definitely are enjoying that uh, Sudan sprouts that are coming up. Very, very happy with the rain we're getting. I gotta pick up some fence. Tyler and I were out here the other day picking up some fence. We got most of it up. I've got about four more rolls to pick up and I wanted to show you guys uh, kind of what the goats did in this pasture a few months ago. Uh, we've been real behind schedule, so we're barely now picking it up. But we need this fence uh, to put up a new pasture or a new uh, new paddock for the goats. So we're gonna hop back in here and drive on over. Here's another look at uh, what the goats can get done. Each one of these, this is this whole section right here is just a big briar patch. But they make their way in here and they pick off every single little leaf off of these briar vines. Like I said, it's been, I don't know, two months since they've been in here. And you can see, even with the rain, uh, well, it looks like we got one little one coming back right here. But if you tackle these in the spring, when the, when the vines are nice and soft, the goats will actually eat the vine too. It's just a matter of getting them in here at the, t at the right time. Um, but every spring they're in a different area, so it's never, it's almost impossible to hit them with the numbers that we have right now. Maybe in the future when we get up to the numbers we want to be at um, we'll be able to split them off better and put them in different areas that have a lot of briar patch but pretty much all the pastures have briar patches and another thing is you can see what they did to this oak tree kind of what they did to the other one anything they can reach they're they're getting after and you can even see this this one's getting its leaves back you can see some regrowth some buds coming in so yeah and another reason why we don't uh, take this why we didn't take this fence down is it it's we've been in a drought obviously and whenever we're in a drought like this 
it's very hard to get those spikes out of the ground because they turn in that dirt turns into cement and you have to sit there bang it with your boot bang it with a hammer to get it to come up out of the ground and then you start get to damaging the the spikes they start bending and then whenever you go to reinstall them it's a lot harder to get them back into the ground straight so another reason why we were waiting was for something like this for rain to come so that way we could just pull them out of the ground very easily um, so we're not damaging the spikes or anything and it goes a lot quicker than having to sit there and bang each spike every i don't know i don't think it's like 16 foot every 16 foot these things are placed so waited on some rain comes up a lot easier you get it done a lot quicker and uh, you're not bending over so much either jacking up the, your backs so go ahead and grab this guy throw him in here I forgot on my way Tyler wanted to make sure that I put a new battery in her feeder I'm gonna pull her memory card even though the feeder hadn't been going I'm gonna pull that memory card put another one in there and uh, go ahead and throw this battery in here got her blind up the hill about I don't know 80 yards maybe a little bit more than that up the hill but see what's been coming or see what's gonna start coming Here's some more underbrush that they took care of. You can see all these little baby trees. At one point they had leaves on them. You can actually see some of them starting to try to come back and get some buds on them. But uh, allowing the sun to come in and grass to sprout like that, right there. Uh, allowing sunlight in and getting rid of the underbrushes is what they do best. Just uh, walk around here for a second. Take a better look at everything. There's another one there. It's got a bunch of saw vine and stuff around it. They took care of all the saw vine. They took care of all the underbrush from that tree and then they took care of the bottom part of that tree. And uh, it's like that throughout this whole pasture. All the mesquites in this pasture were sprayed, they're dead. So some of them are trying to come back kind of like that. Looks like this one started coming back with the rain. Uh, but most of them that try and come back, the goats took care of if they were in here at the right time so but you can see a lot of a lot of grass starting to come up real good real happy with with this rain definitely definitely needed it got some more turkey up in the sendero here up on the fence line they've got some little pullets or baby turkey with them i don't know y'all can see them from here but they are running i don't know if i'll be able to catch up with them Maybe I can zoom in and get a good shot of them, but I doubt it on this little camera. Oh yeah, there they are right there. Got her little baby, or those are the little babies. I think the mama up there getting it. Let's see. If they stopped, did they stop? Did they keep running? I think they kept running. Yeah, they're gone. Here's another big briar patch over here to the right. Over here to the left, the goats were not on this pasture or on this side of the pasture. You can see exactly how hot and dry it was. I've never seen them get, get I've never seen it get so hot and dry that the briar leaves burn out like this. That, that's pretty, uh, pretty sad. This drought has been really, really bad the last two, three years. Um, we're hoping to come out of it soon. But if not, you know, we'll adapt and we'll overcome. But the main thing I wanted to show you guys was this briar patch kind of extends over here to the right and it, over here to the left all the way up to the back fence line. And it's pretty, it's, a, it's not skinny. I mean, I don't know, it's probably a couple hundred, hundred feet wide but it's pretty long. I don't know if I had to put acreage on it, it's probably about a four or five acre patch of just straight vine. And the Spanish goats got in here and they picked off every little leaf that there was to pick off of here before this whole patch was green. And I shredded a path on this side for the fence. It bogs up the shredder pretty bad, but I thought about shredding it all down, but it had so many leaves on it that I was like, you know what? It's good forage, it's good protein these leaves and stuff i think uh, i've looked up one time it's got like 15 or 16 percent protein 
in those leaves on these briar vines. And you've got five acres of, of briar vines here that is just taking up land. But the goats came in here, they utilized it, they made it into pounds, and they cleared it back in the process. So we'll let them attack it again next year in the springtime or in the summertime. They'll attack this little patch and the following year we'll take another look at it and we'll see what it looks like and it, maybe we'll shut it down maybe we'll keep using it as forage uh, but eventually they'll come in here the cows will start coming in here too stomping on some of this now that they can get through it a little bit the goats came in here made some little paths the deer come in here the wild hogs come in here eventually this stuff gets trampled down and you get growth like that that's what should be growing in here uh green grass and you can see it starting to come up a little bit but a lot of people ask you know what what can spanish goats do for me what, you know why spanish goats and this is why they get in here they get poked they're not scared to get a thorn in their side or something and, and they get after these leaves and they make undesirable pastures that cannot be utilized by other livestock and they utilize it they turn it into pounds and they look good while doing it. Here's uh, these two twin fawns have been living in one of our front pastures and she's about to go for it. Yep, she went, that one went for it. She's gone. Um, she's still got some spots. This one is really thinking about it. Man, that's pretty cool. Let's see where this one went. The mama probably, oh, there she is. That's not the mama, but that's one of the babies. She's, she's headed that way. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they've been uh, they've been in that pasture for since they were born for the most part, and uh, haven't had any goats or anything in there, but, which is probably why the mama had them in there, and they've been hanging out in there ever since. So uh, that's the last look I'll, I'm going to take a look at, or that's the last look I'll give you all for now. I'm sure y'all are tired of me mumbling and jumbling, and uh, stay tuned for more. We're gonna have a lot of content coming up. It's getting cooler out now. I think we're in the 80s and 90s the next two weeks. Uh, I think the rain might be done for a while. The 10 day didn't have any more rain, but I'm not gonna complain about two and a half inches or so in the last 10 days or so. So overall, things are looking better here in our part of the world. 